Hey everyone, Matthew here at Earthworks in Jacksonville, Florida. It is uh, September, mid-September right now, and we're talking about growing tomatoes here in Northeast Florida. And if you've ever had a delicious heirloom tomato, you know that it is worth every amount of effort and time that you put into it, because uh, they are nothing like a lot of those pink, grainy, mealy, hard grocery store tomatoes that you get. Luckily, some grocery stores are carrying heirlooms now, so we can still enjoy those uh, throughout the year. Um, but here, I'm gonna be planting a heirloom called the green zebra. This little friend here is called the green zebra. The fruit are actually green when they're ripe, so you really have to pay attention and get your hands on them and kind of feel uh, for that kind of uh, tenderness of how they begin to give just a little bit when they're ripe. The tomatoes are very hard when they're not ripe, and uh, but when they begin to ripen, they begin to soften on the outside of the flesh. So that is gonna be your main indicator here with the green zebra. The zebra also gets a little bit of a striping pattern, thus the name zebra, and that is also a little bit of an indicator. So once you've grown the green zebra, or you look at some images online of what they look like when they're ripe, between the touching and the when your eyeballs uh, looking at them, you begin to see some indications that it's time to harvest them. So I'm gonna give a quick little tip here on how I plant them. I'm gonna talk just here uh, quickly on some of the best ways to grow tomatoes. So generally, my best harvests are in early spring. So I will start seeds in January. I will protect them from frost. I'll bump them up into larger containers as they grow and they eventually get them into their final pot or final raised bed position. Um, but now we're in September. We can also grow uh, during our cooler season going into the fall. So we start seeds for these guys in August and we try to keep them in positions where they might not be getting as much afternoon sun, keep them a little bit cooler so they develop a little bit better and if possible, some kind of a protection overhead so that they're not getting rained on every day. So we've been getting a lot of rain this late uh, summer, August, and now into September, we're getting rain almost every day and the tomatoes do not like staying wet. They do like to dry out a little bit. So with all that said, I'm gonna show you how I plant them. Now, this is a long leggy, little monster here and so I am going to dig a hole with my hand. It's my favorite way of digging holes. And I'm going to dig this hole bigger than the pot, deeper than the pot is, so that I can get this tomato down toward the bottom. I'm going to leave a couple inches. So I'm working with a 15 gallon pot. I filled it up halfway. So just around a foot of dirt in here, more or less. I'm making a hole about six or seven inches deep and this is only about three inches right here and I'm going to bury it deep. Get a nice roots around the edges here and I'm going to place this in the bottom of the hole. So I'm actually burying the stem intentionally and the reason why I'm doing that is that tomatoes in particular will put out roots along their stem. This also gives it support around the stem, helps it hold itself up, because with the winds that we get here, this thing could get whipped around and the stem could snap, but really I'm doing it to produce roots all along that stem there. So I wouldn't get a lot of growth that I would want on that stem, and if I did, I might actually trim it off. So I might as well use that stem for more, more rooting. So that's what I'm doing. I'm maximizing the potential places where I'm gonna get roots. <clears throat> the more roots I have, the faster this plant will grow. And so right now it's a race against time before our potential first frost. Last year we had a frost, I believe in December sometime, but most of the days are mild and we can still grow tomatoes into November and December here in Northeast Florida. So what I'm trying to do is to speed up production. Now at this point, uh, I planted it in some really nice soil that has some natural food in it. I'm also gonna be feeding this tomato weekly with a water soluble fertilizer. I'm gonna be using the fish emulsion fertilizer, keeping this well fed, help speed up the growth, just maximize the potential of this plant. We got it here in the full sun, um, and this thing is gonna be providing tomatoes here hopefully in a month or so, uh, maybe 45 days. Uh, I could be seeing some nice green zebra tomatoes. Uh, check us out on our YouTube, check us out on our Facebook and our Instagram. We got all kinds of helpful tips for gardening out there. See you guys next time.